All right, so let's try one of these. Perhaps example 16.8. Let's calculate the molar solubility from the KSP. So calculate the molar solubility of PbCl2, lead 2 chloride, in pure water. All right, so we got the compound, we got the KSP, 1.17 times 10 negative fifth. All right, so let's figure out the molar solubility. All right, so this is gonna be like a nice, easy ice table. For ice, as far as ice tables go, this is, like the, this is like a Sunday afternoon, nice sunny day, you got a glass of iced tea. Like this is the kind of ice table you wanna do on that day. It's like a nice, sunny afternoon ice table. Okay. All right, so first we do need to come up with our equilibrium system. So we got lead, two chloride, and the two is not in. Sorry, get ahead of myself. I was so excited about this nice sunny day ice table. In equilibrium with lead two, so it's lead plus two, plus chloride. Good? We're good? What? Balance it? We need to balance. Oh, yeah. So there's two chlorines in lead two chloride, right? And so there's probably going to be two chlorides produced. That's going to be important. We could write the uh, KSP equation. KSP is going to equal the products. Lead plus two times chloride, lead to chloride solid, that's a solid, so it's zero order, we don't need that, so that's my KSP expression, right? No, no, no what's the matter? Two oh, two chloride, so we need to square this. Whew. Ooh, good thing you guys are here. Wouldn't have been able to do it. Yeah, but that is important to, uh, to recognize that we need to remember the coefficients, they need to be balanced. We raise the concentrations to their coefficients. You know, coming off the acid base uh, unit, all the ratios were one to one, so we never had to worry about that. With uh, solubility uh, equilibrium, turns out there you you, you're gonna, you can't have uh, coefficients, and you need to take those into account. All right, so we know the KSP, so I can use an ice table to figure out the concentrations, and. I'll just do that using a ice table. Ice, ice, baby. What do we know about lead 2 chloride? Solid. It's a solid. So do we need to even worry about it? No, we don't even need to worry about it. It's like water in our acid-base equilibria. It's not in your equilibrium expression, we don't have to worry about it. Initially, before I throw any lead 2 chloride into solution, what's my concentration of lead plus 2? Zero. What about my concentration of chloride? Zero. Yeah, nothing's happened yet initially. All right. After I throw in some lead 2 chloride into solution, what's going to happen to the concentration of lead plus 2? It's going to go up or going to go down? Go up. Do we know how much? No, so we're going to put an X, right? What's going to happen to the chloride concentration? It's going to go up 2x. Good, because, of course, that coefficient. For every one mole of lead plus 2 I get, I'm going to get 2 moles of chloride. 0 plus x, what's that equal? x? Okay. 0 plus 2x? 2x. All right, so that's my equilibrium line. Let's plug that in there, shall we? All right, so I got KSP equals x times 2x squared. All right, so we got a little bit of algebra. This ain't bad, though. 2x squared is what? 4x squared. It's 4x squared. 
And then what's 4x squared times x? 4x, 4x. cubed. 4x cubed. All right, so what, what do we do next? Divide both sides by 4? So we got x cubed equals ksp divided by 4. Then what do I do? Cube root. Cube root of both sides. So I get x equals the cube root of ksp divided by 4. And I've successfully ran out of room, so I'm going to have to take this. Uh, let's do it here. So x equals the cube root, and we were given KSP, right? 1.1 times 10 negative, 1.17 times 10 to negative fifth, all over divided by 4. Now we gotta find the cube root button on our calculator. All right. It's in there somewhere. Worst comes to worst, you could also uh, raise the function to what? One third. That cube root button's in there. Zero point zero one four one four three zero point zero one four three. All right, so that's X, which if you're calculating the molar solubility of the compound, that's what you're, that's what it is. Okay? So the molar solubility with units of molarity is x. So 0 0.0143 molar. What if I wanted individual ions concentration? What are they? What would be my lead concentration? 0 0.014, it's the same thing? Yeah, you're right. What about chloride? Double. Double that, right? Because it's right, it's here staring at us in the face. Lead is x, so it's just the same. Chloride is 2x because it's a 2 to 1 ratio, so 0 0.0286. All right, but when you're referring to the molar solubility, it's the whole compound, which is always going to be x.